Hello crafters, welcome to Chris Tomy G and today's video. Today is the start of a three day week series here on my channel. I'm going to be doing three projects, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and they're all going to be candy corn themed. Now, as you know, I'm in the UK. Candy corn isn't something that we have in abundance over in this country. We can get it, but it's usually from Amazon or from uh, lovely friends in the US. It's not something that we do, we don't have decor that's related to candy corn. But I like to use candy corn in my Halloween and my autumnal decor because I've, I've made um, some candy corn topiary trees, which I will link at the end. Um, so I wanted to do a few more candy corn themed items. So this is the first one. I have this Christmas block here. Um, it measures, I think it's roughly about six by six. Yeah, so you're looking at about six by six and it's about an inch and a half two inches and it's an inch and a half thick so obviously it's not going to be christmas i'm going to paint it oh, if i can get this open i'm going to use my black gesso and we're going to paint it black so you'll need some sort of wooden base now you don't have to use this you can get some um, rust, a, a nice piece of rustic wood slice from uh, your craft stores or even your, your home stores. Um, if you're lucky enough to have someone in your family that does DIY and woodwork, you can grab some scraps from them. Um, you're also going to need some nails. The nails I'm using are 13 millimeter or half an inch. You'll need a hammer and you'll need some twine or some thread because we're going to do some um, string art on this. So I'm going to cover this all up with this black gesso and then I'll come back when it's all done. Okay crafters, that's all coated. I will do the back but I'll do that at a later date. And now I'm going to put this iridescent glitter glue on it because obviously I, I don't want this to be flat black. I want this to have, I want this to have, you know, that Halloween holiday sparkle. So instead of having it just flat black, I've got this iridescent glitter glue. Now this is just clear glue that has glitter in it. And I'm going to go over the top and over, all over this, the sides, the back, the front. Just like I did in the, uh, the signs I did during the Halloween in August. Okay crafters, that is now drying. It's going to take a while to dry. I went on to the internet and I typed in candy corn template. I will link the link. No, I'll have a link to this template in the description or comments below. Um, I'm just going to cut them out. So I'm going to cut these out and use them as a template for where I need the nails to be. I've just had it printed off on uh, A4 printer paper and because it comes in sections you can uh, overlap them so it's not so small and not too big for the space. fits perfectly when put together okay so I am going to start with the, the base and I'm going to bring out my nails and I will 
start hammering these in but I will turn off the sound because obviously you don't want to hear me you know hammering in a thousand nails making sure it's in the right place these nails are quite small I may have to use my Okay. Okay, crafters, I've moved from my tweezers to a pair of pliers. It has a much better grip on the uh, on the nails. And there's a tip for your crafters. Picking up nails, grab hold, grab hold of some uh, a magnet. It'll be so much quicker than picking them up individually. Anywhere else? Yep, that's it. Okay, and you don't have to use a template. I use a template as um I wanted the segregations but you could quite easily just draw um, a candy corn on there in, in, in pencil lightly and then um, you know get rid of it rub it out so I am now going to take this template away oops you know what I forgot to do crafters I forgot to do that barrier there so I'm not quite finished Back to the hammer and nails.
just finished taking this off. Okay, now I'm going to, I was going to use some very thin um, thread, but I don't have any white, so I have opted to use some um, jute twine that I've got in an off-white, an orange and a, and a yellow. So I'm going to start with the white first. Let me zoom you in. Okay, so I'm going to start with the white, if I can find the end, and I'm going to tie it on. Now the reason I am starting with the white first is I want to go on the white will go from here to here, but the the, um, the orange will go from here to here, and the yellow will go from here to here. So I want the next colour to be on top of the previous colour. Hopefully that made sense. So let me just tie this on. Okay. I've got my thread. And I'm going to go round each of the nails and looping it back on itself. It's probably going to be quite hard to see on camera. And I'm going to push it down. So it's like that. So pushing it back on itself. making sure that the uh, the rope is towards the base because I am going to do multiple layers my fingers are going to be in the way this is just one of those crafts where it's going to be more visual than uh, more, more ultra true than visual I will bring it up, back up to you right and back up to the top I'm going to go around so that's what the top looks like and now I'm just going to go around my nails to give it a pattern and again you can go you can go doubly around them if you wish or singly first taking it round again my fingers are going to be in the way I apologize but that is just the way it is with this type of craft I'm afraid making sure that it's tight and that nail is secure okay that's the white stuff now it comes to the orange and again I'm going to start on the side here on this one here and we are going to go around the previous bottom and the previous colour sure I have enough if this was the, the uh, thinner thread it'd be uh, a lot easier to do because I'm using the twine it's taking up more space that one's fallen down a bit too much need to lift it slightly so if you're going to use the twine I recommend you use um, longer nails mm -hmm. 
Okay, crafters, there we go. It was a bit of a <laughs> bit of a struggle in places, but like I said, um, if you're going to use thicker jute, then I use I would use longer nails. I really wanted to use these, but I didn't have white um, because I think it would have worked much better. If I do get hold of some white, I will probably redo this using this uh, thinner thread. I just don't have white. I know I, I know I had white. I don't know where it's gone, I must have used it. I have to try and look online see if I can get some um, get some white. But there you go. Give it a go um, and see how it turns out for you. But I'm really happy with that. I definitely want to swap it over though for the uh, the thinner um, the thinner I really don't like it with this thicker stuff. So I've, what I think I'm going to do, Craft, is I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to do the orange and the yellow and I'm going to order some white. So that's what it looks like like this. That's this portion of this video done. I'm going to come back once the white arrives and I will um, show you what it looks like once I've redone the um So here we go, Crafters. This is the end result using the cotton thread rather than that thick twine that jute twine and it looks so much better so I would bypass the jute twine unless you're going to use um, larger nails but you see how it's multiple layers so you have to push it down so I really really like it I really glad the way the way it turned out really happy with it so there we go that's that thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon